Hello, my name is Alexey. I continue to publish video tutorials and reviews. If this video will be useful to you, please subscribe to my channel and click on the like button under this video. In this way, you will help other users to find necessary information and my channel will be run better. All links from the video can be found in the description below. In previous free video tutorials we create website on Joomla 4 from scratch. We used only free extensions. The result was a business website which was uploaded to the hosting. In this video tutorial we will talk about updating Joomla 4 to 5. We will look at updating process on a real multi-language website Alexios Biz with a dozen extensions and 30-party template. The website will be upgraded from Joomla 4.3 to 4.4 .4, and then to 5.0. All work will be done on a local server. Updating from Joomla 4 to 5 in most cases will be much simpler than updating from Joomla 3 to 4. In my blog's article there is a main stage list for updating Joomla 4 to 5. But you must understand, each website is unique and the final update process may differ for your website. This is also applied to the size that I will update in this video tutorial. Here is my real site on real hosting. This is the main page. Here is my portfolio. This is reviews and contact page. As I said before, this site is multi-language, for example, this is a Ukraine language, the same pages, the same portfolio. And this is a copy of my main site on the local server, as you can see. This is a copy. And I will work on a local server. I have already checked local server and I am sure it meets Joomla 5 minimum system requirements. Here they are. And let's see our test site. This is local server. Go to system information. And here is our PHP version. Like this. And database version. MySQL like this. I also checked all extensions of my website include template for compatibility with Joomla 5 and download them to my computer. Here is the list. There are some components, modules, plugins and languages. Also, here is my template. You can check your extensions, for example, here. Just go here, check for update and wait for a while. You can see the list of ex extensions that need to be updated. Also, you can go to the components, modules and plugins and see what extension do you have. Then go to the developer's website and see the system requirements. If on the developer's website you can see Joomla 5 compatibility, then that's ok. If you don't see it, then write to developer and ask about support of Joomla 5. If this extension doesn't support Joomla 5, then you need to wait while it will be support or you can select another extension or just wait, then this extension will be updated for Joomla 5. Once again, update takes place on the local server. I strongly advise you to do it either on the local server or on the test subdomain on hosting. It's very important, because updating can break your website. Let's start with installing extensions. Just copy them here, or you can use update 
from this list, just click update and that's up to you. And I will install all updates just like this. I installed all 14 extensions and now let's check our catch. Go here if you see some items here, go to global configuration and here in system disable system catch. Also go to plugins and check catch plugin. Just disable it. Now go to catch, delete all and now you should test all your site pages or some specific ones. Go here and see here is our problem. Some icons have disappeared. You need to test all pages. Click all buttons, send all forms. If you have online store, check the push process and so on. If you find some problems, just write down them and then you will come back to them after all updates will be finished. Also check system, database and you, if you have some problems here, just update them. Now go here, recheck extensions. If you have some unnecessary extensions, for example in my case this is JCH Optimize. After update my site from Joomla 3 to 4, I do not need this extension anymore. The speed of my website is good even without JCH Optimize, so I can just uninstall it. Now let's go back and check extensions one more. As you can see everything is fine and now let's go to Joomla. Here you need to check system requirements here. These recommendations can be ignored. Here in extension you can see some notes about your extension need to be updated. For example, in my case this is DJ Media Tools package, but I already updated. So I need just to check here and update my site. Click here and start update. In a few seconds you will see this progress bar and after a while we'll see that the update is complete and we have Joomla 4.4. Here is our system information and here is our Joomla 4.4. Now you need to go here delete all catch. Also, it will be nice if you clean your browser catch and after this once again check all website pages or if you have a lot of website pages then just check the most important ones. And after this, write down all errors that you found and then go to plugins and here select this type of plugin and check that backward compatibility plugin is enabled. After this, go to System, Joomla, go to Options, select Joomla Next and check for update. One more time, here we can see no errors. This information can be ignored and here we can see some new information and what we can do with this. We already update our RS4, my testimonials, RS firewall and so on. We already know that this extension is compatibility with Joomla 5. But if you see these warnings, I suggest you go to System, 
manage and just disable uh, these extensions while you will be updating your website. Do not uninstall them, just disable them. My testimonials RS Firewall Tesos Framework And here we can see RS Capri System Plugin. If I will look to my test site, I will see this error, but that's just fine. Now check for update one more time and check extensions tab. So now we can just update our Joomla 4.4 to 5.0. In a few seconds you will see this progress bar and voila! And here we can see that the pro update process is complete and we see our Joomla 5.0. Let's go to system. Database is OK. Joomla system information and we can see Joomla 5.0. Now let's go to extensions and enable all extensions that we disabled before. One more time. Catch. Delete all. Clean your browser catch and go to the website. Once again you need to check all your pages or all your critical pages. If you see some problems, for example, like this, you need to correct them. In my case I need to go to Components, RS Page Builder, find my home page, here is my email icon. Let's search for some other icon, for example like this. Update the page and we can see the new icon. You will need to check all your site pages, test all your forms, filters and so on. So in this case I didn't know some big problems, so the upgrade was just fine. And now I can use Joomla 5 on my website. Updating process from Joomla 4 to 5 is much easier than updating from Joomla 3 to 4. But still, you may get many different problems during the update. You need to remember that update may require subscription pushes or renewal for third-party extensions and the template used on the website. If your website has extensions that were developed specially for you, then be prepared to pay the developer again to update these extensions. Please update the website on its copy, but not on the production version. My experience with Joomla starts with version 1.5 in 2008. During this time I updated many websites, including online stores. Updating each specific website includes similar stages. But every website is unique, and this fact often makes a huge difference in the updating process. It mostly depends on the website's extensions and the difference between the current and final version of Joomla. I hope this and other Joomla video tutorials have helped you with this CMS. In the next video tutorial we'll talk about Joomla global configuration. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like. Also, don't forget subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. This is Alexei. See you soon in new tutorials.